From biodegradable material in the form of a pipe filled with substrate, this researcher gives life to a plant, regardless of the quality of the soil on which it is sown. Called Roll Planter, this innovative technology allows to reduce the effects of climate change on agriculture, to restore biodiversity, and ultimately to recover non-arable and abandoned land. With this technology, with this technology, the place where they grow crops may not have an influence on the functioning and the working mode of plants. And that will allow us to provide advice to farmers and horticulturists so that they will be able to grow plants on non-cultivable or infected soils simply because the soil will not have any direct contact with the substrate of that environment. Such is the technology that we are currently experiencing with Tromso, and the results are very satisfactory. The results are convincing, as evidenced by this horticulturist who has appropriated the rural planter technology. In the space of two months, Salu Sek has already begun to pick his okra in his fields located in the Jurbel region, about 150 kilometers east of Dakar, the capital of Senegal. First, this technology allows to save a lot of water because with the roll planter, the part where you have to water is well surrounded by a hole. Secondly, I put less effort into weeding the field where I used to have to use two watering cans now I only need one. The other advantage is that the production is fast and of good quality. Because before, I had to wait for three months to harvest, but now, after only two months, I already start to pick my okra. In any case, I am very satisfied with this technology, which is very useful. This practice developed in Senegal is the result of a collaboration between the Japanese company Tromso and local researchers specialized in agriculture. The objective is to participate in the food security, but also to fight against desertification, which affects 45% of the African continent. Because of the enormous negative effects of desertification, the Sahelian zone is really in very hard conditions. And we are aware of that. If we take a figure from the FAO which says that 40,000 hectares of forest disappear in Africa each year, while we only reforest half of that, that's to say 20,000. And among that figure, we need to consider what has exactly succeeded. And we need to make sure that the technology that we will implement when we have funding. This is so because it's the local communities who make the implementation. These are the perspectives we have. And until now, we thought that the use of the Internet could be a solution. But as Internet is not available, everywhere, the solution is to find alternative means without internet so that all these tools can arrive at the local communities. Indeed, the Sahel region and the Horn of Africa are facing increasing alarming environmental and developmental issues. The AICD, the African Initiative to Combat Desertification, benefits from the support and technical assistance from JICO. Its mission is to make countries and communities resilient to climate change by promoting measures to combat desertification and to draw the international community's attention to the issue. Et le gouvernement du Sénégal, à travers le ministère de l'Environnement, a conduit les sept autres. The government of Senegal, through its ministry in charge of the environment, has monitored the seven other Sahelian countries 
to promote measures to fight against desertification. Because of the security issues to which certain countries are confronted, it's not easy for the GICA to be able to deal with all the countries. That's why we have promoted the online initiatives to allow these Sahelian countries to constitute themselves into networks and share common knowledge and experience. AIM is to contribute to the fight against desertification in the Sahelian countries and in Africa. In doing so, we need a strong partnership with the AICD. The AICD is an initiative launched by four organizations, which are Kenya, Senegal, the GICA and the UNCCD. That initiative is composed of three main pillars, which are networking, the sharing of knowledge and the access to funding. Partage de connaissances et l'amélioration de l'accès au financement. This initiative involves eight countries in the Sahel and seven countries in the Horn of Africa. To achieve its ambitions, the IACD has established networks between these 15 countries to share and promote good practices in combating desertification, and it hopes to continue to benefit from Japanese expertise in this area. Thank you.